Canada, federal level, Weather Modification Information Act. This act may be cited as the Weather Modification Information Act. Weather Modification Activity. Weather Modification Activity includes any action designed or intended to produce by physical or chemical means changes in the composition or dynamics of the atmosphere for the purpose of increasing, decreasing, or redistributing precipitation, decreasing or suppressing hail or lightning or dissipating fog or cloud. There's a lot of men and women who talk about weather modification, such as chemtrails, barium, and other means to modify the weather. Well, I took a look in Canada, and here in Canada, for sure they have a Weather Modification Act, and they are playing with the weather, and they are changing the weather, and how it affects us. So let's see exactly what this Weather Modification Act consists of. In the interpretation section of the Weather Modification Act, it says, Weather Modification Activity means activity or action designed or intended to produce by physical or chemical means changes. So they state it very clearly. They're looking to produce physical or chemical changes in the weather. So we've heard about chemtrails very clearly indicated. The Weather Modification Act contains any actions which changes the weather to increase, decrease precipitation or hail, or snow, or lightning, fogs, and clouds. Now I'm sure this is by no means an extensive list, however it's very clear that through chemical or physical means here in Canada they are modifying the weather and they are modifying it to increase or, de or decrease following list here. So when we see chemtrails in the sky the planes that are leaving those chemtrails and we try to tell people look what's going on here in Canada and some will title this well that's conspiracy it's not really going on well it's very clear in the law that it is going on they're trying to play with the weather modify the weather a lot of this comes from the Tesla Tesla sorry from the Tesla technology that they're doing up there plus others so we know that they are modifying the weather now part of this is also to control and manipulate the masses of people because if they can dry out lands and cause them to be no good or if they can saturate lands with water well then if you start looking deeper into weather modification you can find something called HARP H-A-R-R-P this is the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program now if you continue to look into this you're going to see that this mechanism, this machine that they constructed it also does weather modification but it does more than what we've seen in the acts and regulations, the weather modification act because this machine is able to create earthquakes and volcanoes and tsunamis from the water and it does this by heating up the atmosphere the ionic atmosphere and pushing it up and that energy comes back down without getting too technical through all these terms. So HARP is being used here on Earth to modify the weather, to make modifications, and not for the better of man. A lot of people think that the major earthquakes that are going on across the world right now, some of them have to do with HARP. A lot of people think that the earthquakes that have happened recently in Iran are HARP attacks from America upon Iran. So this can be used in a weapons technology way. This can be used to create damage and destruction to countries and to hurt individuals. Even though it's titled weather modification and for the betterment of man. There's a lot of information on the internet that shows that it is indeed true that this high frequency active auroral research program is being used in a negative way. It's very clear that there is indeed manipulation of the weather going on here in Canada and the United States, UK, more places than that. So next time you're out in the spring and the summer, take a look up in the clouds and you're going to see 
planes that fly across and their trail, their exhaust, the tail that they leave, it's going to stay and dissipate outwards. It won't go away. And other planes, normal planes, they're going to fly and their tail, their exhaust will completely disappear after a minute or two. Well, these planes that have their tails that stay lo long like that and dissipate and come into clouds, form clouds, these are the planes that are chemtrailing. They are spraying. I have examples of chemtrails on my website. If you look uh, eternallyware.com, you'll see it. Because here in Chattagay, they're constantly chemtrailing us. From 6 to 7 in the morning, on sunny mornings, they'll start. And all day long, they'll chemtrail in order to block out the sun. It starts on a sunny day in the morning, and an hour or two later, after they chemtrail, it's completely, completely covered the sky. I have videos of this. I will be putting this out in the future on YouTube to show you guys exactly what they are doing. Administrator to be informed. Where any person proposes to engage in weather modification activities in Canada, that person shall, in such form and manner as may be prescribed, submit to the administrator such information as may be prescribed respecting that person and the weather modification activities in which it is proposed to engage. Disclosure of information. Any information obtained by the administrator or an authorized representative of the administrator pursuant to this act may be made public or made available on request to any member of the public.